hi welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to use microsoft powerpoint app to create beautiful presentation slides on your mobile phone this video will be divided into two sections the first section will show you how to manually create the slides on your phone and the second one will show you how the app automatically creates your presentation slides for you isn't it great don't go anywhere So for the first part, I will be showing you how to create um, presentation slides manually using your smartphone. The first thing you want to do is to go to the Play Store on your Android phone and um, download the Microsoft PowerPoint app. If you have not installed, just go ahead to install it. Since I've already installed it, I'll go ahead and um, open the app on my phone okay so the first thing you want to do if you haven't created a profile on um, Microsoft you go ahead to do that so that you can access your documents online the next thing you want to do is to create a new document and you choose where you want it to be stored and um, you can store it in the cloud OneDrive cloud Microsoft if you have a Microsoft account or you store it in your device in document okay i would like to start with the basics this is the template or any made template you can start with but i prefer to start with a blank presentation for this um video so this is what you call your slides and you can go ahead to add new slide using that plus button so the very first slide is your um the topic or the title of your presentation and this year are the tools that you'll be using and you have the bar here as well to show how you are going to insert it okay to make this thing to make this view better i'm simply going to rotate my phone so you see it in the landscape version okay and you can still access your tools here in the home button and i will show you how to use these other tools as we go along so we are now in the home button what you want to do is to create your title and here i'll be using my um keyboard to simply type in self-esteem for example and i want it to be capitalized so i'm going to type that and I'll impute now that I've imputed my first title slide I'm going to go into the next one now there is this button here which says um, this is your slide layout okay so you just go ahead and you can see different slide layout different layouts you can use for your slide so if you want to compare two contents for example you will have it there but for today i'll be showing the basic way to use it just remember that you can always play with the different layouts when it comes to creating your presentation so first of all i want to start with my introduction and that is what i'm going to type here So to impute your text, all you have to do is just to um, double tap where they say double tap to add your text. Okay, so I already have text that I copied from my Word document and I've gone ahead to add that. Now the first thing you want to do as well is to go ahead to impute text as you go along and um, adjust the text as well remember that this is called um, powerpoint so you are going to be creating points you don't want your slides to be jam-packed okay so you keep adding slides as you go along see where the plus button is in the in the landscape version so i'll go ahead and impute my text and i'll come back to show you how to go to now that i'm done imputing my text into my slides the next thing i'm going to do is to um, design my slides okay so you want to click that button and go to design click on the word design 
then you see themes there you click on it and you can see so many themes for you to choose okay so i'm going to just pick a very simple one you can try out once you want and you will see how it applies make sure you choose one that um showcases your world very well so that you don't have to your audience doesn't have to you know squint when they are looking at your work so that is good and you can see the very first slide the second slide and the third slide you just go ahead and look at it and you can see that um, it's really neat and my words appear good anyway your words doesn't appear good you go ahead to adjust the font size like i'm about to do now to adjust the font size all you have to do is click on the text box and go to home and um, select the font size there and click on the one you want for example i'm going for 28 here to make my words visible to my audience when i'm presenting so the next thing you want to do is to go ahead to insert your transition the transition is how one slide moves to the next slide okay so you go ahead and tap the transition button and bring out the transition effects okay so there are so many there and I'm just going to choose a simple one like cover here and when you have chosen one you can go to effect options and choose where you want it to come from right now it's from the right and I'm going to apply it to all all my slides now when you are done clicking that you come here to this button it's called slideshow and you quickly see how your slides are going to appear when you are presenting your powerpoint slides okay so this is how it moves from the next to the next one and it keeps sliding so make sure that everything moves smoothly and you choose uh, a simple um, transition so next i'm going to show you how to apply animations animation is how your text comes in this or stays on your slide so for the animation to work you have to tap on your text box soon you see the entrance effect how it stays how it comes in emphasis how it emphasizes a word and exit effect how it leaves your slides okay so for now i'm going to choose the entrance effect and i'm going to choose um, fly in so you can see there that it has highlighted all of them and you go into effect option property if you want it to slide in from the bottom or from down you just choose where you want it to slide in from and if you want it to slide in as one object you can go ahead and select it or you want to slide in all at once you can go ahead to select that okay so for now i'm going to select from the right and when you are done you just go ahead and click your slideshow so that you see how the words come in when you tap your screen you can see how it slides okay for each one you can choose how it slides so as you are presenting you are tapping and each one um, comes into the slide I'm going to use the um, exit effect for the next one and you can see tap your animations and can go to exit effect and I'm going to choose um, fly out for them okay I'm going to go away from that by clicking the back button the down button I'm going to click um, the slideshow so when you tap on it you can see that it goes out as you emphasize each word so it's very very simple to do now when you are done applying your animation the next thing you want to do is to um, check if your words everything are aligned you go ahead and you can justify apply font color you know do different things put numbering bullet points using your home page for now all i'm going to do is justify my work so it's properly aligned and i do that to each of my slides and um, um make it aligned okay just make everything aligned now next i'm going to show you how to insert pictures 
so you go there and click the word insert and you can go there and insert tables pictures videos anything you want so let me just quickly show you how i insert pictures i've chosen photos and i'm going to choose um a simple picture okay so that's my picture there you can go ahead to crop or rotate it and i will go ahead and, and place this on where i feel it's really nice to have um, the picture so after choosing that you can go to styles for the picture and you can see the different styles that can be applied there okay so i go ahead and select that and i can put it um, anywhere that i want that i feel is interesting so that is all it's really simple to create your slides using microsoft powerpoint app okay so next i'm going to show you the very easy way of doing that thank you wait before you go make sure you save your document by tapping that and just enter um, your, what you want to save it with okay and when you're done just tap the screen and it's saved and when you click on that you can go ahead um you can turn your phone back and you can see it in um, portrait and you can see your slides at once when you go back and now when you go back you can always click on it it will be in your recent box and um that's um, very simple very very easy to do so that's all for today's video. You can see that it's very easy to create this slide on using just your smartphone. So if you haven't watched part two, watch how this app creates um, this slide automatically for you in a very beautiful, defined so thanks way. Thanks so much for watching and do have a blessed day. Bye.